Monday with si MGA. This is Angie Alpina. And right now, we are here at Marco Polo Hotel with the event of World Wide Life Band on their challenge project One Planet City Challenge. And we will be interviewing uh, Attorney Angela Consuelo Ibai, the head of climate and energy program of WWF. Also, we will interview the first timer on One Planet City Challenge, Edgardo M. Buya, the City Environment and Natural Resources Officer of Catbalogan City. So don't go away, watch out. Uh, how how po ba benefit itong, uh, itong program nyo na ito para doon sa mga winner na city? At paano yung impact nito for the environment? So your One Planet City Challenge is a um, biennial competition um, that stems from the One Planet Cities concept of the WF. Um, so our Philippines won a joint in 2015. So second run na to yung 2017-20. Ito yung second leg. Um, second run na po siya. So twice na siya nangyayari sa Philippines. Um, kasi every two years po siya. And um, oh, every two years, hindi siya a year. So for, for 2017, 2018 po, na, na run, we have eight cities from the Philippines who expressed their intention to join the One Planet City Challenge. And um, basically, by joining, they actually show their commitment to be really, to show that may ginagawa po yung siyadad namin. Um, and um, they report their initiatives, their actions, their plans um, into the carbon platform, which is part of the One Planet Security Challenge. And by reporting that, um, what they're seeing now is that sometimes for some cities, a feedback namin na they don't realize that they're doing so many things. They are not aware. Uh, uh, hindi naman si not aware, but because they're doing so many things, holistically, hindi na nakikita na, ah, may possibly may overlap, or pwede pa naman mag-duplicate, or maybe we, they can strengthen some of the components. So, the, the uh, One Planet City Challenge provides a platform na nakikita nila more holistically. And then they realize um, how to do it better also. So, um, by, by also reporting into the platform, they also get feedback from us and from Iklay Southeast Asia, how how they're in, especially for their finance best how to make it better, how they can report it better, saan nila pagkukuha ng new data, kung nagkirapan sila, and they also learn from each other. So, the benefits that the city get is not just knowledge sharing, knowledge sharing din po to. And it's not just knowledge sharing among Philippine cities because since it's a global competition, they also learn from other cities from abroad. There so far, there are 30 countries, uh, 33 countries that have joined OPCC with, with over 50 plus um, cities uh, around the world. So, but yan pa lang yung sa finally. So, they're learning a lot from each other and also they're bringing back to the Philippines what their knowledge is. And hopefully, because of that, the cities who join the OPCC can also help other cities um, reach towards a sustainable future. From this is po, uh, yung top one is the Jakarta, then uh, global, second for the reputation. Ay, hindi po. Bale yung, yung One Planet City Challenge, meron siya yung main challenge. But there's also yung um, part of that is a related social media campaign, which is called the We Love Cities campaign. So for the three finalists, or whoever becomes finalist in the in the One Planet City Challenge, they have the opportunity to join the We Love Cities campaign. And in the preliminaries, they're able to engage their citizens, their residents, the locators in their in their city, in their area to vote for them. And for us in WWF, we promote all three cities para uh, you know, fairness in terms of trying to get also our own um, supporters to support the Philippine cities who become fighting. So dun sa We Love Cities, magkakaroon siya ng, magkakaroon siya ng We Love Fasi, P, We Love San Carlos PH, We Love Makati, kasi sila pa yung tatlong finalists. And globally, um, all of these finalists buy, and um, um, when they tally the votes, the Jakarta won the We Love Cities mm -hmm. campaign. Uh, kasi sila yung pinakamadaming um, votations, interactions, um, suggestions also on, on social media. But, Pasig was the second. We found out also. So, parang ibig sabihin, malapit na tayo doon na uh, we're getting people to also okay. see, be aware na, oh, may mga cities tayo na we can actually 
get behind with because naniniwala tayo dun sa sugar baby. Talaga sila sabi nila yung ginagawa nila at nire-report nila. And I, yeah. uh, so I think the one of the benefits again of OPCs is really the accountability. Meaning, because we this is not just like you join for the sake of joining, but you have to commit. The city, when they join, when they join the OPCs, they have to be committed um, to go through the process. Kasi hindi lang siya yung nag-submit lang kami ng oh, join kami, portfolio join kami, tapos na. Hindi, kasi ito, proseso siya. The, the city has to send us their letter of intent, and then when they send us their letter of intent, there's a process of capacity building that we give and work with the city. Depende sa needs nila. And then, based it's on for that, free. It's for free. And, and the, what we do is that Basin doon, yun yung nakikita nila, ano yung pwede nila i-report dun sa carbon registry. And because of that, they have to ensure na what they report is the actual thing that they're doing. Because the international jury is very, very, um, ano, um, talaga tinititingan nila yun. It's, it's also not just say, we have a plan, but you're not doing it. So you have to also, in a way, walk the talk. So if you're saying, we have this plan, this is the actions we're doing to show that we're implementing our plans. So, yung ang yeah, ano yung composition ng jury, ma'am? Hmm? Yung composition ng jury? International po po siya. So, they come from different backgrounds. So, we have uh, juries from South, uh, from Latin America, from Europe, from from Asia. Um, their backgrounds involve um, working C, like C40, which is the organization, the coalition for mayors, um, the Compact Com Com of Mayors, we have from EPA, we have from ADB, we have from the World Economic Forum. So in, their backgrounds involve working with city development, urban development, they're working on transport, they're working also on um, carbon registries. Um, climate disclosure projects. So, iba iba yung ano. Some are architects, social media, and also um, uh, was this, uh, technology experts as well. So, we can give you a list of the international jury um, because there's the. I would think they're finalizing uh, who will be the global global winner. And the awarding ceremony will be in September at the at the Global Climate Action Summit in San Francisco, USA, California, USA. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, congratulations and uh, good day po, Sir Edgardo Guya, the City Environment and Natural Resources Officer ng Katbalogan City na ngayon ay first time dito sumali sa One Planet City Challenge. Sir, ano po lesson yung na-learn nyo dito at uh, bilang... Uh, uh, Enro officer po, paano po natin magkakaroon ng climate change mitigation sa inyong lugar sa Katbalogan? Okay po. Ang daming ex uh, learnings na nakuha po namin dito sa uh, OPCC na to One Planet City Challenge kasi uh, it opened doors to us sa napaka raming issue ng environment na kailangan palang i-implement sa city. So, one example for that is ano, yung sa carbon emission, emission. isa yun. Tsaka, lahat, mayroon tinatawag natin sa agriculture, sa waste, sa industry, sa mga technologies natin, uh, sa transportation pala, uh, and so yung on mobility. and so forth. Ang oh. dami. Opo, opo. Okay. Opo. Uh, sir, uh, Kasi every two years, ginagawa to ng World Wide Fund. Yun itong WWF. And next year, after two years, ay challenge pa rin po baka yung mag-join ulit dito sa OPCC na ito? Hindi naman po masakit yung challenge na ito. <laughs> uh, sasali din po kami. Uh, parang nagiging gauge din po namin ito, measurement kung saan na kami. An, uh, parang tool din ito para na nakikita namin kung saan kami patungo, saan yung direction namin, at saka yung status namin ngayon, ano na kami sa, ano na to, sa, sa contest na to. Uh, sir, uh, may, final, uh, may final questions po. Uh, bukod po dito sa mitigation sa climate change, ano pa po yung masasabi nyo na natutunan nyo dito at pwede nyo ishare doon sa sa fellow cities nearby sa inyo at paano nyo ma-encourage yung mga hindi pa aware na city na malapit lang doon sa Visayas region? Lahat naman po kasi uh, ng mga cities ay pwedeng sumali dito 
uh, siguro yung accessibility nila to join the contest is uh, yun nagkukulang din tayo doon. Pero in fact, maraming mga cities na kayang-kaya nilang ipanalo yung ganitong contest na uh, Worldwide Fund or One Planet City Challenge. Okay. Thank you po, sir. You witnessed the interview with uh, the City Environment and Natural Resources Officer Edgardo M. Kuya of Katmalogan City. Also, the the in charge of Climate and Energy Program, Attorney Angela Consuelo Ibar of WWF. And now you see all the all the city committed on this uh, project, One Planet City Challenge, and the top one on social media here in the country is the Pasig City, and all over the world globally is Jakarta. Again, this is MJ Ognebalagar on this MJ Online Makabulohang Journalist.